Hey viewers, so it's me, Alan, again with um, a discussion on vertical mice. So first of all, I want to just um, say that feature has great benefit because it uh, because as you're typing or using the mouse, um, it helps loosen up the tissues of your forearm. It's a it's a great feature on a lot of different devices, uh, and uh, I would say it's it's an ergonomic design, uh, you know, orthotics uh, in mind. So I I really like it. Um, however, it doesn't always fit everybody in that because a lot of people have um, different techniques and such. So uh, uh, if I were to say where it benefits um, users the most, it is where they can actually relax their hand on the device itself. I keep saying that in a lot of my videos, but let me just demonstrate if I can relax my hand on the device, then I get that whole arm movement. However, if the device itself is trying to be so vertical that now my hand is off of the device, you can see that it's on the mouse pad, I end up using my wrists again. So, uh, even though this one is not quite vertical, it actually promotes better posture the way I use it, as you could see there. So, and I'm just showing you by example. Now, this mouse itself is so small, this is the DXT mouse by Kinesis, that I'm just gonna use it with my fingertips here. And a lot of, there's a lot of small light mouse, uh, there's, a, there's a, um, a brand called Anchor, which also is very similar to this, and, uh, and it's, it's vertical, so you can see my hand is more in like a writing position. And I like these mice, I recommend them a lot as long as I think that the user would uh, adapt to it um, because I think it engineers out uh, pretty much the pronation there. And, and the, real, the real issue with the pronation is that it's like wringing out a towel um, basically as I go to pronate my my hands this way and then if I were to like use my digits you could you could feel the flaring out of the muscles and connective tissues of my forearm there okay and it only exacerbates if I were to go into extension or flexion of my wrist at that point so it's just another risk factor you want to avoid um, in general however there's diminishing returns on that and what I mean by that is you don't have to go into full neutral posture, you can go about halfway, and that's what this right-handed mouse is trying to do. Um, it's like wringing out a towel in that, you know, most of the water comes out at the very end when you've put all the force in it at the very end. So for the most part, you've gone a lot of distance and then nothing's come out, and then at the very end, everything comes out of the, all the water comes out of that towel. So diminishing returns there just a little bit Back into that neutral posture really helps a lot, but then going to fully neutral, you get diminishing returns, right? I'd rather have somebody be able to relax their hand on the device itself. And, and one thing I'd like users to, to think about is actually, you know, maybe stationary mice, uh, considering like rollerball mice, uh, would be, uh, it would be great if, um, uh, they designed those uh, with a, you know, either a slight slant or a vertical position because in that, you know, in a lot of cases when people relax their hand fully pronated like this, their hand sits on a hard surf, their car, the carpal uh, structures of the hand kind of rest on a hard surface. So that creates another risk factor. So. Um, that's it for the day. Uh, I just wanted to just, you know, kind of put that out there. I'm open for more questions and comments. Um, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, have a great day. Bye.